I've been smacking that ass, smacking that ass. Steve Harvey, first of all, Sally, you want to say anything to Steve? Because I got to say something personal to Steve. No, you go, you go ahead. You, well, you I just want him to know that we're so happy that you have come back to Las Vegas. See, y'all don't understand. I live here. I'm the only black headliner in Las Vegas. And when I see this many black people, I get excited. And Steve Harvey brings them here every year. We have such a great time. I ain't seen this so many black people. Oh, but last week, the Jacksons were here. Wait, let me tell you something. They were good. I went to meet them all, Steve. They didn't tell me their mama was missing, so. <laughs> they ain't said nothing about their mama was missing. Now, y'all know what happened, right? That oldest girl is getting old enough to talk back. And Miss Jackson is 82. She said, I ain't taking this shit. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here. Talking back to me, and you know they ain't Michael Kids anyway. You know she's. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Catherine, Catherine Jones, you don't want me to call Joe. <laughs> Joe will put a whooping on their ass, but I'm so happy to see so many. Oh, Steve. Is Sally, this, I was. Yeah. Can't we get to what we came here for? Yeah, we're going to get to it. Okay. I got to tell you something, though. I All was right, watching TV this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I'm watching TV this morning. I'm watching the Olympics. Y'all seen that little black girl? Yeah. Is she good or what? Yeah. Let me tell you something. I ain't seen a black person flip, jump, and move like that since they whooped Rodney King's ass. Yeah. No, I ain't ready. Oh, uh, Steve, Steve, These what are you doing to, to me no, here? No, 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 you gotta let him go. I this is what he's okay. doing. All right. I need these black people here because next 2016, I'm running for president, and y'all need to know that I'm running for president. There's gonna be some changes made, and I'm telling you right up front, I'm putting Mexicans in charge of everything. Every cabinet post, every administrative position, I'm putting Mexicans in charge. You wanna know why? Because Mexicans can get done. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. A Mexican will show up on time. A Mexican will bring other people with them. <laughs> Mexican are the smart. Anything can be done, a Mexican can do it. Walk into a Chinese restaurant and eat your Chinese food. And when you're walking out, stop, look in the back, see who's cooking your Chinese food. <laughs> Go on back there and say hello to Maylene Sanchez. <laughs> now, what we come up here for? Yeah, I know you don't. <laughs> We come up here to talk about barbecue. You got okay. the right person. Let me tell you something about barbecue. I've been to every barbecue place in the world. Memphis, Tennessee, they will barbecue you. <laughs> Don't be so proud, because y'all, you all been to Memphis, they barbecue road killers. They just barbecue in the Memphis. <laughs> Memphis is the only city in America where they barbecue baloney. <laughs> Kansas City got good barbecue. Jacksonville, Florida, got a place called Jenkins Barbecue. It's a real hole in the wall, isn't it? That's your first sign of a real good barbecue is a hole in the wall. And Jenkins has a drive through with no PA system. You can be 20 cars back, the lady just stick her head out of one, her name is Smiley. Hey! What you want back there? And when you get up to that window, your order is ready to go. And when you get home, ain't none of that yours. I love good barbecue. Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, they got a place. The rib crib, old fashioned, the rib crib, they got, they put your barbecue sauce on with a paintbrush. And the man that cooked the meat, his hands are the same color as the meat. If you ever get there late, they're closing, people stand outside just to lick his fingers and suck his thumb. That's how good that barbecue is. I know good barbecue. I like to go to a barbecue place where somebody just got shot. And nobody got out of line. That's when you know that's some. We got to. I got to go. I got to go back down to Flamingo and do my little show. Ooh, I'm tired.
You ready for me? Yeah, I'm ready for you. Oh, uh -oh. am I ready for you? Well, Don't you I ask me no question like that. <laughs> I'll take you upstairs we play the road game. You know what the road game is? You lay down and I'll blacktop you. Now, come on. I say hello to all the white people in here too. How y'all white people doing? Ain't nobody said nothing to the white people. Is that man white or he just light skin? <laughs> he white? Sit next to him. That's Donnie McClurkin? Oh, I love you. Steve, he wrote a song called We Fall Down, We Get Up. Now, I know damn well you were drunk when you wrote that song, wasn't you? We got to go. All right. We got to go. Oh, that's my buddy. I always talk about him. Every time I look at Crawford, you know we're talking about barbecue. Look at him. I bet you five dollars Lavelle Crawford got some barbecue in his back pocket right now. <laughs> Hey, Cheryl Underwear, I love you, you know I love you. Okay. Okay, we're gonna All talk right. about some barbecue. All okay. right, now the nominees for Best Barbecue Place sponsored by Home Depot are Roper's Ribs, KMJM 104.9 FM, St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah. Bledsoe's Barbecue, KJLH 102.3 FM, Los Angeles, California. This is it, Barbecue and Seafood Magic 107.5 FM, Atlanta, Georgia. Big Daddy's Barbecue and Seafood, WBAZ 102.7 FM, Chicago, woo! All right. And the winner is, I live in Atlanta, I was just at This Is It on Wednesday, and they charged me for my food, I, I hope. And the winner of the Best Barbecue Place category, we need some new categories too, in the neighborhood, we need Best Hole and the Best Pimp and the Best... The best hookup man, the best funeral home. I told Steve, you know, let the dead people talk. We need some more damn categories. Ready? And the winner is, the best barbecue category is... Ludso's Barbecue of Long Beach, California! Long Beach, California! Long Beach, California!